Right, so we're going to hit the streets of Qingdao. Qingdao is where beer comes from in China. It's pretty much from here. And apparently, this is something I've heard all, all expats hear about this, but apparently you can drink beer out of a bag. It's something I've been looking forward to my whole life in China. Yeah, in China, not whole life life, but drinking beer out of a bag. So let's go check that out. So I am on my way to Northern China. And as you can see, I'm carrying, oh, I got, I'm carrying a, a hell of a lot with me. Yeah, got my little leg bag as well. And the beginning of a new massive adventure <laughs> is about to go underway. So yeah, come along with me as I get all the way up to Northern China from down here in the South. Now for those of you who are unfamiliar with what I'm doing at the moment, I'm currently on my way up to Northern China to shoot my new documentary, Conquering Northern China. So it's actually quite cool. They've got uh, this sort of VIP, uh, I don't know, you know, this is the Metro Underground, so basically it's a subway system. But to get to the airport, this Line 11, they've just about six months ago, opened up this sort of VIP section. You have to pay more, but it's so much worth it. You won't believe it. Is that the one I want? That is the one I want. So I pay about 20, maybe 26 RMB or something to take this fairly empty sort of VIP section all the way to the airport. Whereas people cram like sardines over there and it costs them about seven or eight. So I mean obviously it's more than double to sit in here but it's not a lot of money. But it shows you a lot about Chinese mentality. Right, so here I am at the Shenzhen airport. It is pretty impressive here if you haven't been here before. They've recently built a new terminal. It's massive. And of course it's done on everything that Shenzhen scale is done on, which is big and new and modern. And it's pretty awesome. Anyway, I'm waiting for sea milk to arrive because, you know, we're doing this adventure together. And of course, I'm always early and he's always late. So I'll let you know when he arrives, we're gonna grab a coffee or something and then hit our flight. And our first stop is going to be Qingdao. Yeah, how's it going, Sea Milk? How are you doing? Cool. All set and ready? All set and ready. I'm gonna take apart some of my stuff and see what we're actually gonna carry and stuff. But it's been quite the nightmare with all this crap to carry. <laughs> so Sea Milk, what's happening here? I got stuff the security because of my hairspray. We thought it was going to be the carburetor that looks like like a weapon, but it wasn't that. So you, yeah, we're delayed almost because of your hairspray. We'll, well see. It'll be okay. So we have arrived in Qingdao, and along this journey, I'm going to be making sea milk as well. We're going to be making sort of behind-the-scenes videos. That is unfortunately not what these videos are going to be about. Those are separate. They're for the Kickstarter backers, but of course they will be released to the public eventually um, on the ADV China channel, I believe. Anyway, we're going to be doing some live streaming and all that kind of thing. This, what I'm doing now, is for Serpent ZA. I'll be doing a couple of these, hopefully topic-based as I go along and I go through northern China. I'm going to be picking something interesting that happens up here in the north that you just don't see in the south. Something different about China, which, you know, you guys might find interesting. So, Sea Milk, there are a lot of people waiting for us out here, right? Shall we go show them the crowd? Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, take a look. Not for me, apparently. So many of these people. Where's the, where's the, where's the people looking for? It's our entourage. The weather is amazing here. I mean, not... I'm not saying it's blue skies, not that. I'm talking about the temperature. It's a lovely sort of 23, 24 degrees. It's cool. It's not hot. It's awesome. It's going to be terrible when it gets dark, so in the morning. And uh, in the evenings, it's going to be probably unbearable. But right now, it's wonderful. So Qingdao, so far, pretty good. Basically, this first video that you're watching now there's no real topic to this this is just basically me getting to the north and I've arrived in, Qin, in Qingdao but now I'm gonna go show you what Qingdao looks like I'm gonna go and grab a Qingdao beer because this is where Qingdao comes from
And this is a very interesting place because Qingdao used to be a German concession. So there's a lot of sort of European influence over here. I'm so excited to go out and check it out. So without any further ado, let's hit the streets of Qingdao. So guys, they've got beer in a bag over here, but unfortunately I can't show you myself drinking it because that's going to be a part of the show, so you can look forward to that in the main show. Sea Milk and I are going to try this out. I can only imagine it's going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, um, I'm going to drink some and I'll catch you later. So I've just got the bikes working and I'm actually at the top of this really cool place here. I'll show you. This is the... Oh, but here's the boss. The uh, lady boss is busy cleaning up. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> she's pretty cool. She's the one who runs the place, her and her husband. Um, and they're really into bikes. And as you can see down there, there's a whole bunch of bikes. It's quite fantastic. She's invited me up here to drink some tea. Uh, the guys are busy shooting outside. I've just got the bikes working. You know, a bit, bit of grease and a bit of um, fun and games, but the bikes are running. So we should be ready to hit the road tomorrow. This is what I love about China is you get these dedicated little groups of people who are kind of rebels because bikes are banned and being cracked down on in all the cities but you get these people who are dedicated to bikes and so you know they've got this little shop it's just on the outskirts of the city where bikes are still kind of acceptable to ride. So guys the filming has begun proper I'm gonna have to leave you soon and finish off this uh, video just showing you we're in some kind of a fish market it's kind of interesting that's actually over there a bucket full of scorpions uh, which is weird and uh, well we're underway so it's going to be a hectic month we're going to be on the road for a month I will be making videos while we're out there like I said I can't wait to see you all in the next video I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who's been watching my channel for all these years or even if you're a new subscriber it doesn't matter thank you because it's because of people like you watching my videos that this has even become a possibility you know this whole thing that I'm doing with uh, sea milk who's over there um, you know and uh, everything it's because of you guys, it's because you've watched, because you've subscribed, because you've, you know, shared out my videos and stuff. I appreciate each and every one of you guys, and I'm honestly um, heartfelt thanks. Can't wait to see you in the next one, guys. And uh, you know the drill. Until next time, stay awesome. Thank you so much. So I'm actually here with, I'm actually meeting another uh, China YouTuber here, but I've just bumped into a subscriber. <laughs> How about an introduction? Um, uh, my name is Lin and uh, I just saw him, uh, I saw him's video and a yeah. few years, uh, sorry, not a few yeah. years, a few months before. And, uh, his video is, was great and uh, there's some uh, new opinion for me because uh, there's a lot of foreigners live here and, um, and my boyfriend is French, so That's cool. yeah, and uh, he teach me a lot of, uh, taught me a lot of uh, opinions. It was new and it's changed my life. That's why I talk to him. Oh, you cool. I know it's kind of interrupt his. Uh, his it's support. fine. It's fine. Hey, it's an absolute pleasure meeting you. I'm so happy you like the videos. So I would like you to just stay awesome, okay? It's okay. Sorry. I'm <laughs> don't be shy. Don't be shy. Okay. See you. Bye bye. <laughs>